Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. Uh, what do I have for you today? Well, I'll tell you what I have for you today. I'm going to make, how do I say this? It's going to be a tortilla chicken taco pizza. Okay, and it's going to be floured and fried. And I'm going to show you exactly how this is going to work. First thing, just follow me. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but follow me because it's going to lead you, this recipe is going to lead you to a delicious recipe. Not difficult, a little bit time consuming maybe, but you know, a good meal usually does take some time, a lot of love, and that's what this has or will have, okay? Your family will absolutely enjoy it. Uh, trust me on this. All right, so before we start, if you've looked at any of my videos, please like my channel, like this video, subscribe, poke that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. Just turn it on, ding, ding, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe, okay? It's for a good cause, trust me. All right, anyway... I mean, even if it wasn't for a good cause, I would really appreciate it if you all would do that for me, okay? Um, I like sharing my recipes with the community, and I would love for you all to share back with me, or if you have a request, make it so on the, in the comments, and I'll do my best to come up with that recipe. Um, if you have a recipe of your own that you would like to share, please do. Uh, this is just about sharing good food, wholesome foods, you know, some creative thinking and inspiration um, goes into these recipes. And we kind of liven recipes up, traditional recipes up a bit. And it's a lot of fun. It's very therapeutic. And uh, just sharing alone, you know, brings a good feeling to one's heart, don't it? Anyway, so let's get started with this. You're going to need some uh, chicken cutlets, boneless, okay? Or you need to bone in, it doesn't matter what thighs, but what kind of meat, chicken meat you like. Thighs are usually more moist and they retain well. The moisture throughout cooking, you know, throughout various cooking processes. Um, but I'm going to use uh, chicken cutlets here. These are boneless. So I'm going to, they're frozen, just got them out of the deep freeze, and I'm going to put them in some water to boil with my special seasoning, season them the way you want to season them, the way you uh, usually do your meats, okay, this is about, oh, let me see, one, these are really big pieces, so, I'm going to save this little one because I think, well, I'll throw it in there just for good luck. For good measure. Better to have more than not enough. Okay? Alright, so you're going to need, this is what you're going to need for this recipe. You're going to need some kind of a round pan. Okay, I've got this spring form pan. Okay? And you're going to need uh, two, uh, I think these are 10 inch uh, flour tortillas, okay, the large ones. You need two of those, one for the bottom, one for the top. You're going to need some flour. I mix mine with uh, Italian style breadcrumbs and I put a little bit of my seasoning in there. You're going to need some... Spanish paprika or just paprika. Smoked paprika works fine too. You're going to need some pizza sauce. You want to need, of course, some taco seasoning for your chicken once it's cooked and you shred it up. And a little bit of chili powder. You're going to need, I'm using adobo and uh, Maggie uh, chicken flavor bouillon to flavor my chicken as it boils. So that's going in there. I just put that in there. And uh, I'm going to put some adobo in here and a little bit of sofrito. And that way all those flavors 
can cook into the meat. Okay. And here's my sofrito. Now, if you don't have this, don't worry about it. Just use, you know, what you usually use to season your meat with. If you want to make sofrito, want to know more about it, uh, I have I have actually a video on how to make sofrito. I think it's called sofrito. S-O-F-R-I-T-O. And um, if you just go ahead and Type that in and look that up on my video. Just watch that video. It teaches you how to make sofrito. And it's like a Spanish style pesto of spices and vegetables. And it's um, all combined together. It just gives your food such flavor, your savory food such flavor. Oh, it's amazing. Um, along with that, you're going to need some mozzarella, again, like I said, pizza sauce, and you may need a can. I think I'm going to use a can of tomato sauce to mix the chicken in with. Either that, or I may do barbecue. Hmm, taco barbecue. Taco barbecue. That sounds good. I think I'm going to use, see, creative thinking. <laughs> I think I'm going to use... Some honey barbecue sauce with the taco. That's going to be a nice contrast, don't you think? I think so. All right, so we've got our meat over here in the water with the seasoning, with the Maggie chicken flavor bouillon powder and the adobo. And I already threw in about two tablespoons of sofrito. So we're going to let that boil and cook well. And then... Uh, We'll take it out and start shredding it. Now, I usually shred mine with two forks. Shred yours however you usually do it. Um, and then we'll get on with the recipe, and I'll show you the rest. Believe me, this is going to be delicious. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, the chicken is done. I'm not going to turn this off because I still need this burner, but I'm going to put it on a fork. So I'm going to take it out, put it in this bowl I got here. Just save this chicken stock, let it cool off and put it in a Tupperware. Alright, let me clean off my stove as best I can from all the splatter. This stove is best to let it cool down before you do any cleaning because everything, otherwise everything sticks. So I'm just going to wipe around the outside. Alright, I forgot to tell you, you're going to need some chopped up onions. And green peppers if you want, or just onion, and garlic for this dish. If you like it, if not, don't worry about it. I'm going to saute them in olive oil. All right. And go ahead and drop that in there. I got this on a four, put it on a three. Drop about uh, four garlic cloves. And uh, let me get this spoon. I'll just get this. I chop up peppers and onions. And uh, freeze it to have it all ready. And uh, you can also uh, buy this. They already have them all chopped and stuff in freezer bags if you like that. Uh, okay, so I've decided I'm going to do some turkey bacon and some... Blackstrap molasses and honey and sprinkle it on top and you'll see. Alright, time for the forks. These are pretty big forks. Okay. And 
Now you just want to shred that meat up. Okay, just like so. See, shredded pieces, just like so. Okay, so shred your chicken up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done shredding the chicken. I'm gonna give it a taste. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. That is so perfectly seasoned, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. All those flavors seeped right in there. All right, so, huh? if I can get this off the fork, Now we're going to put our, I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here. Just a tablespoon. Okay. Got a little bit of flavor. Chicken in there. I'm going to finish shredding some pieces. I got puzzled to the bottom. Back in there. I'm going to get a bigger pan because we got some tossing to do. Hmm? Oh, yeah. chicken in it. Keeps wanting to escape from me. Alright, so that's mixed up in there. We're going to start with our seasoning packet. Our taco blend. Teaspoon of chili powder, Spanish paprika, a tablespoon, and don't know what happened to my smoked paprika. Okay, where'd you go? Here it is. About a teaspoon of that. Get some more. Okay, then here comes our Spanish seasoning. I'm going to do a little bit of sasong, about a teaspoon. Some turmeric, same, about a teaspoon. Oregano. Teaspoon, a little bit of cumin, a teaspoon, and I've got 
some fresh basil. From my garden. Okay. And I have some fresh parsley too. Before it starts to go bad, might as well use them. Use it in here. All this will cut down. bit of my shell wine. The olive oil just so I'm going to put some of this Cuban seasoning in here. This is just my added touches. You all get creative with whatever flavors you want to add to your Taco chicken, if you just want to leave the taco all the way without the barbecue sauce, by all means do so. You could put some green onion or spring onions or scallions in this as well. Here's my barbecue sauce. It's half a bottle, half an um, 18 ounce bottle. That makes it nine ounces of barbecue sauce. I gotta try to get this cap off of here. So I can add water to this. That was easy enough. I got the rest of this salsa. Barbecue taco chicken, that's what it is. Huh? I'm gonna give this a taste to see what this creation is brought forth. <laughs> what is brought forth to us? Let's see. It's a bit too much. I don't want that much. Just one little taste. Just as good as I imagined it would be. Oh my. Mm. That contrast between the sweet and that taco. Mm. Out of this world. You can even add some spicy in this if you like. A little bit of uh, jalapenos. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, but you should. Kevin. All right, so this is done. So now I can turn this off. 
we're going to bring our pan here. Okay, and work with this. Now, I like to toast my tortillas. Just a little before working with them. Just to have it, they get, they kind of like bend the, to your will when you do that. They become easy to work with. Pliable is the word I'm looking for. to tortillas then. I think I'm gonna put some, this is taco. I said put some fiesta cheese on the bottom of this. Okay. to put our chicken taco in here. See, what well, the hardest part was just boiling, well, you just have to wait for it. And then, you know, shredding the chicken didn't take it at all. What, 10 minutes? The rest gets done fairly quickly because the chicken's already cooked. See? Let me spread that around. Pat it down, pat it down, pat it down, pat it down, pat it down. Pat it down. And put the top tortilla shell over it. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our shell on here, we're going to refrigerate this. Ugh. We'll refrigerate this for about two hours. Put the timer on. Might need three, we'll see, because there's a lot of meat in there. Okay, and we'll, but we'll be right back after two hours. Okay, I decided to bring you back for this part. Even though this is optional, you can do bacon, you can do pepperoni, uh, you can do sausage, whatever you like to top the taco pizza 
barbecue pizza, tortilla pizza. Because we're going to top the, after we slice it and, and uh, batter it in, or rather dredge it, we are going to deep fry it. And then once it comes out of deep fryer, we're going to top it off with some pizza sauce and some nice chunks of turkey bacon and mozzarella to make it a pizza style. I think this will be enough. The rest I'm going to save for breakfast. Make a breakfast pizza. Put this in a sandwich bag. Okay, so we're going to saute those bacon uh, slices which is turkey bacon. Can't seem to get any beef bacon these days. So I'm making my own. And that's a separate video, which I've already started. Just waiting on my vacuum sealer to continue that process. Hopefully that'll be the next video that you all see. Hopefully. So we're going to saute these bacon bits or bacon slices or, and then we'll be back after a couple of hours to finish or to continue with our process. So the longest part really in this recipe is just the waiting. You're not really doing anything. I mean, you sit down and wait. You know, I'll get on with other chores while you wait. There's really no reason to wait at all uh, without doing anything. You want to be productive elsewhere. But I'm just saying, that's, that's the longest part. Everything else is pretty simple in this recipe. Trying to clean up my mess here. When you put the, the cheese and stuff on there, so it can melt, the cheese can melt. So, don't get too worked up in cooking it. to shower cap that. And got the pizza sauce. That's all that's left to put on there. After we batter it, we've got our flour and we 
We've got our eggs over here. We've got our cheese. All right. Eggs, you only need like, probably two or three. Probably three. Okay. To batter that up with. All right, well, until, what, probably one o'clock, I'll come back. Okay, everyone, about seven minutes to go. I figure I'd come back and I turn on my oil. Can do that to about a seven. Okay. Also, I'm gonna turn my oven on to 350. Here's our barbecue tortilla, tortilla taco or taco tortilla and okay and here's what we're going to do while that oil is heating up Go ahead and whisk this up. I've got my flour in a bowl. I've got three eggs in a bowl. Here's my bacon topping. Excuse me just a minute. Looking for my... Sorry about that. Whisk up the eggs. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to release this. Okay. In the pizza, I'll put it on top of the oil for now. Oh, I know it's big. We're going to put, let's see, what is, uh, okay, right in the middle. That might not be big enough. Let's see. I'm going to just put this right here. Eh, it looks about the same. I'm going to put that right there. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... Oh, I know. Maybe a bowl. Okay. I think that works. That might be too wide. Yeah. I hear my oil, so I'm going to lower it to two for now. Alright, we're going to do this as quick as we can. Okay, we're going to slice into our barbecue taco pie okay. 
some of it will come out. That's okay. It's actually packed in there. Okay. So we got one in here. What we're going to do is put it to the egg. Put it to the flour. Okay. I don't know if you all can see what I'm doing here. Here, I put it through the egg. Now I'm putting it through the flour. Okay, I should have gotten two gloves. It's okay. And then we're going to fry it up. Put this back up to a six. This could have used about five hours, I was saying, in the refrigerator. But for the sake of the video, I went ahead and just did it for two hours. But we tend to like it a little colder and firmer. Not a problem, we'll make do. That's my oven. Oh, actually, it's my timer. I'm going to do two, and then I'll put this back in the fridge because it still needs to set some more. So I would leave it for at least three hours if I was you all. Five hours is actually ideal. And you dip it in the eggs. And then from the eggs, you dip it in the flour. And you coat it very well. All size. And you fry it up. Okay. I'm going to put mine back in the refrigerator for a few more hours. Let that meat stick on a bit more. Firmer than that, just like that. Okay, I'll give that to Boots. I'm putting this back in the fridge, but I'm going to make two just for you all to see. I'll just do individual pizzas. Okay. Now we're frying these up. As 
soon as they fry up well, you want that on a six. At least. I need you all to imagine that all six pieces are all around. going to dress this up and to cover this. Alright. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. As I go, so next thing we're gonna do is take some piece of sauce. Ooh, this is nice and crispy. Mozzarella on there. Make sure you all can see.
oven for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put some, this turkey bacon that I fried up early on this. Now again, you can do pepperoni, okay? It's a little bit more sauce I think it needs. Turkey right there. Turkey bacon. Alright. This is going in the oven for 10 minutes. The oven is set for 350. Timer. 10 minutes. I'll bring you back. Time to see what we got. Oh yeah. Here it is, y'all. This is a taco. Let me see. Barbecue taco tortilla pizza. That's what I'm gonna call it. See? Nice and crunchy. Crunchy, okay, which is you could just pick it up once it cools off, that is. Pick it up with your hands, you know, dip it in sour cream or whatever sauce you want. But just use a fork and eat away at it. But that's what it is. And if it would have all have been uh, firmed up, I didn't think it was firm, as firm as it should have been uh, in just two hours. But if you give it three to five hours, five hours is ideal. It'll firm up to where you can batter it and it, you know, chicken won't fall out of it. Your meat won't fall out. It'll be nice and firm. So I decided to just go ahead to do two for the sake of showing you all. And um, usually if it was firm, I would have done them all. It would have looked like a pie, like a pizza pie. And in the center would have been the dip. If you can imagine that, go ahead and make this recipe because that's exactly what it will end up looking like once the uh, the rest of it gets firmed up and I finish it, then I'm going to go ahead and batter it and fry it up and all that. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on a plate with the uh, bowl in the center with the dip in it. And that way you all will see exactly what I'm talking about. So I will take a picture of that uh, as soon as I make it, as soon as it's ready. And uh, you'll get to see the finishing product. But this is what you're aiming for. See, these are individual slices is what they are. Individual slices. And make sure the cheese doesn't stick to one another. <laughs> And you just pick it up and you dip it, you know, in your uh, in the dip, or you use, like I said, you could use a fork. I would use a fork. It's it's too meaty. I would think I would hate for it to fall all over, you know. But uh, it's battered. It's crispy. It's got tortillas in it. It's a barbecue taco taste. It's delicious. It's got the uh, pizza sauce and mozzarella for the pizza effect, the shape. You know, the triangular shape, also pizza effect, and your favorite toppings on top. So you could put ham, you could put ground meat, you could put sausage, you can put um, regular bacon, you know, beef bacon if you get your hands on any. But uh, that's it. That's, that's the pizza. That's the barbecue taco tortilla pizza. And I am going to finish up here as soon as the timer goes off. And I do the rest. I'll take a picture and I'll add it to the end of this video. But other than that, that's it, folks. This is... That's your dish. And you just have to imagine it as a pie. 
all the way around, which you will see right behind this. So until the next one, you all take care of yourselves and one another. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Poke that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash it. And turn on that notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you can be notified every time I up upload a new recipe. Okay? And in the meantime, I pray God's blessings upon each and every one of you. Take care of yourselves and one another. Until the next one. Okay, I got the rest in here. I decided to just go ahead and get it out the way. I got other things I need to take care of. And, uh... So, time is of the essence for me at the moment. So I decided to go ahead, no harm, no foul. Here they are, the rest of the pieces, fine. And uh, it's a plus for you all. You all get to see it. Uh, first hand, fine. And not just a finishing plate. for baking since the other two are already baked. That smells like meat, right? No, it's chicken. Well, that's good. It's deep fried chicken um, barbecue taco chicken tortilla pizza. Mm. So, What I did was, after I shredded, boiled some chicken breast, shredded it, mm -hmm. I went ahead and see here's the, here's two of them already done. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to do the rest and then I'm going to put it in a pie so that the viewers can see what it looks like when you're done. Very pretty. It looks like a pizza pie. Mm -hmm. I've done already. Yeah. Pizza pie. Okay, so then next, of course, we're going to add the sauce. 
Well, there's a piece of sauce I can muster out of here. I'm going to talk to Boots for a minute. Alright. Don't let her out, though. She's I got to learn. She can't be jumping on people when they come in. We hardly get ever, ever uh, hardly get any guest, really, ever. It's just me and her and Hopster. And Mama, when she comes over, so whenever, and like I said, Boots is not a friendly dog, but she does love Mama, and she loves my son. That's it. The only two. She's a little indifferent to my daughter. She'll sniff up, or she won't, like, growl at her show her teeth like she does everyone else, or like she has when we discovered she's not a people person. But Mama and my son are the only two who can actually dog sit for us. <laughs> and uh, I hear that Boots' his brother's the same way. So I don't know, it might be a gene in that family, in that dog family. You made her cry. <laughs> well, she loves you, but she's got to understand she can't behave that way. She's got to learn how to respect. Oh, putting the cheese on? Yep. We put the struzzi on it. Some cheese. The struzzi. I guess if we call it struzzi. Yeah, you are? Yeah. Did you bring your oxygen yeah. machine? Okay, yeah. good. I'm sure I, didn't know it was that I found a DB booster. Well, David found it, and it was in my Jeep where I had told him to put it in the box in the back. Oh, thank God. That didn't be worried. Me too. I'm like, I know she brought it in because I saw her with my own eyes. I freak down into that truck like a little David has right. a bad memory because he has so much on his mind. Yeah. He put away all the survival stuff. He bought that big cabinet and stuff and put everything away. But you see what I have up there is our list of oh. survival stuff of everything that I have in inventory. It's an inventory list is what yeah. it is. Well, instead of making a list to where he put everything, he didn't, and he couldn't remember not a lick where anything was. Uh, None of the survival gear so we bought. So you had to get out everything. So you had to get everything out. I said, now before you put it back, let's go ahead and make a list on what's on shelf number one. Shelf. I said, that's how you do that, dear. He yeah. said, will you help me? I said, yeah, always oh, the brains and yeah. yeah, and he's the brawn, always. But of course I'll help you. We'll do teamwork. <laughs> I said teamwork. Honey, teamwork. Yeah. So we got everything out and we're just double checking our B.O.B.s, our bug out bags. And we've ordered about $300 worth of more stuff we needed last night to make sure we have everything because on the 19th of September, and you're welcome to join us, it's on a Saturday. What you going to do? Uh, we're going to the Greenwood Boat Docks yeah. in Louisville, and at 12 noon, we're going to take applications for whoever wants to join. Oh, really? Yeah. The three percenters, you mean? Yeah. You, do you have to be a, a, a veteran? No, you don't have to be a veteran, but you do have to have your CCW. What's that? Your conceal carry, I weapons I license. I can't even have a gun. though, even though uh, Kentucky is a uh, open carry and conceal carry state, uh, the reason why we're asking for the ID is because it's either that or run a background check. Yeah, and the CCW tells us you've already had one done. Yeah. And to get a CCW means you can get weapons easy. Yeah. You can carry through friendly straight states without a problem. So that's the reason why we're asking for it. We understand yeah. Kentucky is open carry well, and uh, open Josh conceal. I mean, now. conceal. Huh? Josh, you can't join because he's had a felony, huh? That was from 20 years ago. He needs to get it expunged. I tell you. That's all that is. 
and we, uh, the CCW, um, I know if you do a uh, background check, we only asked for the state of Kentucky or the state you reside in. Uh-huh. And his was where? Alabama? Or Georgia? Georgia. So it wouldn't show up. Yeah. But I don't know about CCW may show up. That's another reason why we want, went for the CCW. Okay, so anyway, folks, <laughs> I'm only having a conversation with Mama while y'all listening. Here is the finishing product. We're going to go ahead and put it in the oven at 350 again for, I'm going to say, four minutes. Because we're just waiting for the cheese to melt. Now, I did four hours. Four minutes. Okay, so in four minutes, Mama, you want to say wave hi? There's some Mama. Hey, everybody. <laughs> say hi, Mama. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sit here and talk to Mama for a little bit. I'll bring you back as soon as that buzzer goes off. Okay, y'all. It's ready. Four minutes. Well, we got 30 seconds, more or less. Mm -hmm. All yes. right. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Okay. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and set this up. And I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, here it is. Now, these are a little bit more settled, so they're a little bit uh, flatter. Uh, flatter. And the cheese is already integrated with the sauce. This one just came out the oven, so it's still a little white. But there it is. There's the... the uh, mm -hmm. Deep fried barbecue taco chicken tortilla pizza. How you like that? Huh? How about serving this up when you have guests? Huh? And put some sauce right in the middle? Well, you would need a bigger tray to fit a bowl of sauce, dipping sauce. But isn't that something? I wouldn't be able to pick one of these up with just my hand. I'd have to use a fork. I got to tell you, it's that stuffed. But make yourself some. It's easy to make. You just saw, um, just go ahead and shred the chicken. You saw how I marinated in the seasonings and uh, brought it together. So very easy. The only wait time is the cooking time of the chicken and leaving it in the refrigerator for about three hours so that meat can settle with the tortilla and stick together so that you can run it through the eggs and the flour in order to fry it and all that chicken doesn't fall out. But that's the only waiting time. The rest is easy peasy. So make yourself some. And don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, poke it, and hit that notification bell. Turn it on. Ding, ding. That way you can get notified every time I upload another amazing recipe. Until the next time, y'all, God bless each and every one of you. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye.